So I rebelled a lot in high school. My senior year of high school is where it really began to, to change. God really said, hey buddy, here's what you're going to do, and this is what you need to do. You've been running for so long, it's time to, to no longer run. And so I go on a mission trip with the South Carolina District to Madagascar, to the Street Kids Center. We're, we're there to, to build this new Street Kids Center. And while I'm there, I feel God began to, to work on my heart. And I go out there, I go outside the gate, and I begin to play with these kids. It was like this big, bright light just appeared over me. And it, it was like the time, time just stopped. And I, and I hear very distinctly God saying, I'm calling you into the mission. You know, this is going to be your calling. 2011 uh, from October to 2012 and, and the January mark was really the darkest time for Ashley and I. The time where I thought we weren't going to make it. And that's in the, that's in the time of my life where I went down the road of depression. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go to church. And I realized that some of the issue was, was me not fulfilling my calling. Me assuming I knew what my calling was, and, and I didn't. So I go back, and actually I discuss it, and I said, you know, I'm just going to resign from the, from, the, from the youth ministry. It wasn't three days later I had a job interview at a Nissan dealership in Augusta. I was at work one day at the dealership, and my, my, my chest began to hurt. I got home, and I couldn't get out of the car. I wasn't in that much pain. And they said, we have, the good news and bad news is, the good news is you didn't have a heart attack. And they said, but the bad news is, is you have an infection around your heart and all your joints, cardi endocarditis, that's, that's affecting everything. It's a major, major infection. Uh, but we found the source, to, the source of that all this of your infection is your mouth. Your entire top and half your bottom are fully infected. And it's causing this major infection and, and it just went through your body going septic. And and I remember like it, again, like it was yesterday, like the hospital opened up and the Lord said to me, do I have your attention? Are you going to listen to me? Are you going to focus on me? Are you going to follow me? I called you into ministry in 2004 in Madagascar. Why have you not done it? You, you've assumed this youth ministry. But Brian, guess what? It's not. And I remember, I said, okay, Lord. Take me where you want me to go. Use me how you want to use me. Let me fulfill the calling that you've put on my life. And so uh, I got out of the hospital. They, they released me. I was on a, a ton of medication, antibiotics, trying to kill the infection. It was a couple weeks later, I had all my teeth removed. A life-changing event. You know, when your teeth were removed, you had to, how to eat again, how to talk again, how to deal with it again. You know, and God wants to come alongside of us and begin to cut out all those insecurities, cut out all those, you know, depression, wants to cut out anxieties, or wants to cut out worries. He wants to really, he wants to cut out all that to bring us to the person that he's created us to be. And, and he's brought me to my current location in Oskaloosa, Iowa. You know, he's moved me all over the map, I felt like, and, and now I'm in a better place than I ever thought I would ever be, you know. 15, 20 years ago in my life. Because I fulfilled or am fulfilling what God has put in my life, He has blessed me beyond all measures. It's just been amazing to see. I'm just glad and super pumped and excited where I'm at and where God's taken me. And so I'm thankful for that. All because I submitted and obeyed. This is the verse that God has given me throughout my life. Psalms 27, one. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble?